Hey folks, I know it's been a while since I did my last video, and truthfully my life has gotten very busy. Um, with college coming up, and uh, I'm actually in college right now, and um, just life in general. Um, right now I'm currently renting a house at my college, and part of the rent renter's agreement is that I cannot do any more chemistry videos. So, for the foreseeable future, this will be the end to the chemistry channel. However, that's not going to stop me from continuing on with these videos. Uh, we have an interesting project here in the future. It will be the uh, Scanning Electron Microscope Project. Um, this project was inspired by uh, Ben's videos on applied science. And we're going to be doing a version of that. Um, so let's just hop into it, shall we? All right, so as you can see, I've got a lot of vacuum parts right here, and that's all great, but I had to machine out a base plate, which just came in from eMachine Chop. This is it right here. You can see that, okay? Um, this was all custom done, and it was designed on a CAD program and sent in, and they shipped it out to me. Very cool. So. Because this project is really complex, I'm going to be breaking up this video into three main parts. Um, the vacuum chamber build, the electron optics, and then signal detection and processing. Um, so this is the first video on, on the future series. This is the basic layout of the high vacuum parts. This is not all the parts, but this is just some of the high vacuum parts. So the actual electron microscope will be contained inside this base plate and this bell jar, which seals everything up. Now this bell jar is fairly small. It's, uh, it's much smaller than the standard vacuum chamber and gun. Um, and that's, I know that, and I'm going to have to account for that. Uh, what it boils down to is this electron microscope will never be you know, the same quality as the one million dollar ones you can research companies buy. But uh, the goal of these videos is just to explore the science behind them. So besides the bell jar, we also have some other components here. We have a uh, vapor diffusion pump, which I'll be doing a video on shortly. We also have a... Uh, a very magnetic penning gauge here to measure um, high vacuum pressures. Yeah, uh, some various valves. We have a baffle, and also we have a uh, some connectors here. So uh, let's get right to it. Let's assemble it real fast. This is one of those moments where I am particularly thankful for the magic of video editing. As you can see, I'm putting on the diffusion pump. Next, I'll be putting on the vacuum feed throughs, which are also the electrical feed throughs. The actual vacuum feed throughs are pretty easy to put together. The, uh, the KF25 stuff is, is pretty simple. Penning gauge is going on, and we're done. Okay, so with enough, enough textbooks, I was actually able to get stand up. So this is kind of what the undercarriage will look like once it's righted. And um, here's the top of it. And that's how, as you can see, it's very tight quarters and it's very crammed in there. But I hope to utilize all the, all the bell jar to try to get a good SEM. All right, so the next video will be on the, the rough and pump system and possibly even a vacuum test. All right, that's all. Bye.